and complained about their boss. <laughs> okay, <laughs> well today's topic is manager and employee relationships. So the main points of this presentation that I'm going to cover today are why are they important, um, why they don't always work, and also how do we make them better. So they're important because the single most important factor in voluntary turnover, employee engagement, morale, work-related stress, and performance is the manager and employee relationship. So this has a big impact on the productivity of the company. And Silver, in his article, um, Transforming Professional Relationships from 2008, um, mentions that. Also, in another article by Ronheim, I think that's how you say his name, um, and this is called the manager question from 2010. He mentions that at least 70% of employee engagement, which is how committed employees are to their company, um, is based on a relationship with their supervisor. Also, um, work-related stress spills over into the home life. So this can affect um, relationships with spouses, friends, and family. And it can lead to other, <laughs> other problems drinking, drugs, <laughs> all kinds of stuff. So <laughs> it's very important to have um, a good relationship with your supervisor. Oh, sorry, I'm wrong way. <laughs> so why, um, how do we talk about why they're important? We're gonna talk about why they don't always work. People need to be, um, don't need to be face to face with their managers anymore. There's so many other ways of communicating through email or through um, things through online resources. They don't have that chance to build relationships with their supervisor. And this is mentioned in an article <coughs> in Vegas from 2005. And this is called, the article is called An Examination of Satisfaction with My Super Supervisor and Organizational Commitment. Also, managers don't know how long their employees are going to stick around. So this is due to recession, downsizing, um, better offers might come along. They're employees will um, necessarily feel committed to the company. <coughs> also, as far as like another relationship for mentoring or grooming, that takes years to accomplish with um, employees. And so either the manager or the employee will not be around if they decide to work <coughs> somewhere else. So now that we know how um, relationships are not good at times, <laughs> we want to know how to fix them. So what we need to do is focus on building a good relationship. Um, they want to treat each other like customers. Um, this is mentioned in the Silver article again, that both parties should feel like they're in service to another and have common goals. So um, if they treat each other with equality and respect, success and satisfaction will come from, from the relationship. So in conclusion, uh, we went over why the relationships are important, and that is for employee engagement and to the company, turnover, and also work-related stress. Why they don't work because of the impersonal interactions nowadays with email and phones and online resources, and also employees and managers move on to better opportunities. And also we went over how to fix the relationship. So focus on building the, new, the relationship, treat each other with respect, and also look at each other as customers. And so now next time you go home and complain about your boss, <laughs> maybe you'll take these steps and try to correct it instead of just complaining. <laughs> Thank you.